Hello and welcome to a new video about dismantling things. I again have a device which... Well, I'm not even sure if it's operational. Let's see. Look at this. Huh? What is this? This is an ice cream maker. Okay. So we have somewhere... To open this huh? like this. Yeah. We have something which will squirrel the ice cream all the time. Yeah. In there is a pot yeah, where you put the ingredients in, so milk, water, sugar, I don't know. Yeah. And this thing here is constantly turning and this should freeze there and should get should be a creamy, creamy ice cream. Let's see how this is working actually. If I uh, hope you see it, yeah. Uh, if I turn it on, let's see if this is even working or if it's yes. It's quite noisy. <laughs> All right, so we want to see what is in there, how this is, how this is working. Right? Turn it off. Open. Let's first have a look at these parts. Huh? So how are the, this? How is this working? Well, you can take it out. This is just a bowl, and this is another bowl. This is a training for the heart. Huh? This is another bowl, and this bowl actually you have to put into the fridge because it's filled. I guess with water. Yeah? So this is the thing which is freezing. So this is not freezing at all. You have to put it into your freezer, this thing, and then you can produce ice cream. So you have to have to preparation work. Okay, so this is the pot. Look at that. And you hear? If I shake it, shake, shake it. And you can put it into this other other pot inside. I guess this other pot is for isolation, uh, heat isolation, because there is then uh, air, a air gap in between, and also the condensating water will not will not destroy your surface, your table. So this is actually hmm, all right. Uh, somebody thought about this, and then we have this here. Uh, have this here. You can put away the squirrel. You can even put this thing out here. Just ah, yeah. And here you have to drive. It is still working. Yeah. So there is no. Okay. It is still working. So there is no. Can I stop it? Or has this, is it too powerful? Don't try this at home. No, it's pretty powerful. No? Security issue? I don't know. That's the cover. Yeah? And you can get this out. So you can clean it separately. This actually I also like. I also like. And now, let's open this stuff. Uh, there are already, there are some special screws. I'm not sure if you can see inside with a triangle. However, I do have here my ooh, unplug. Of course, unplug. Ooh, I don't want to die here in front of the camera. But here I have my special tools. Uh, that should be the correct one. This should be the correct one somehow. Also. And these are these triangle screws. Oh, come on. Focus, focus. And the other ones are standard Philips. Okay, standard Philips we have. No issue there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Look inside. This is what we see right now. So here's plus, plus, or phase. Actually, we don't really know, yeah, because we can plug it either this way or this way. In Europe, this is possible. Uh, so here we have some, some wire, which is going to the switch. And here we have some wire, which is also going to the switch, due to whatever reason. But it's directly connected to here. And here we have the motor. Let's have a look at the motor. That's pretty st straightforward, right? Okay, you can even you can even get out the, the switch or not. Should should work, I guess. Yes. Mm. Switch. You can also remove this. So if you are selling it on another brand, you can simply remove this. Good. <laughs> Designed for rebranding. What have we got here? This is the motor. Uh, you see, there is the rotor. Probably I can turn it. Where is this device? Here. Probably I can turn it, that we can see this turning. Quite hard to turn. Yeah. Let's unmount the motor. 12 watt. It's labeled here. 12 watt. Yeah. <laughs> greased? It's greased, all right. <laughs> of course, it's greased. Uh, oh. Okay. oh, what is this? Capacitor inside there for denoising. And this should be now able to, to turn it easily. Yes. And you see it's always zack. 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 That's simply because of the poles. Alright, so this is the motor. This is the motor. And in there, there must be the gearbox, probably. Let's see how this gearbox looks like. See, everything's plastic. It's not necessarily a bad thing, I must say. Yeah. It's just because it's plastic, it's plastic does not mean that it's crap. But it's indicating somehow. Yeah. However, good plastic is by far, far better than bad metal. I wonder if this is good plastic. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is how the gearbox looks like. We are driving this. One, two, three steps. Yeah? Three steps. A lot of grease inside, if this is for sure enough. This I should probably now be able to to drive. Yes. <laughs> the gear ratio is quite quite nice. Of course you could also get those things out. Yeah, there's the shaft. Mm -hmm. Of course there are no bearings. There are no bearings, this is just if I would build it, there would be ball bearings or something like this, so that it can last longer. This indicates it is produced as cheap as somehow possible. Mm. There are no bearings. Okay, there, okay, there are some metal shafts, yeah, but only two, two metal shafts. The the motor has a metal shaft, and actually that's it. Yeah, and the motor probably. The motor has probably bearings somehow inside, yeah, but in here you see no bearing at all. <sighs> Smelly grease. Good. Yeah, let's reassemble this. Try if it is still working. However, I'm not. I'm pretty sure I cannot destroy anything here yeah, because probably it somehow 
manufactured in a factory somewhere on this planet and I'm pretty sure those things are manufactured not by the most experienced and trained people, engineers <laughs> or, or workers, factory workers, they are just put this there, put this there, put this there and everything is fine, manufactured. Also, where you screw this in, you know, there is no... It's direct into the plastic. This is also indicating a very cheap, a very cheap solution. Good. Uh, where's the switch? Here's the switch. Plug the switch in. Put the switch in. Okay, here's the switch. Now, I should remember how I pulled those out, I guess, that way. One. Then it, there was the black one, black one, okay. here, black one, and the blue one. I'm not really sure why the blue one is there, but all right. I don't, ooh, this is now, this was not perfect. This <laughs> was not perfect. Mm -hmm. What is now, what is now less effort? I will decide to go with these two screws. Okay, those two things are, you have to put in here as well. Actually, these cable holders are pretty nice. Okay. And here, we then should be able. Alright, and now close it. Uh -huh. Close it. Screw it. I wonder how old this thing is. Is there somewhere a C? C marking? No, there's no C marking. I think there should be. I'm not sure. Okay, if the video now abruptly ends, I've blown my fuse. <laughs> Working. Oh, it makes an awful noise, huh? It's also vibrating. <laughs> So that's it. That's the dismantling of a ice, a very cheap ice cream maker. Yeah, I found somewhere, and I will get rid of it yeah, because actually I also own a nice device yeah, where also the cooling and stuff is built in, so that you don't have to use any any other. <laughs> Depending on which side you have, look at that. <laughs> Depending if you reach north or south pole of this of this magnet inside there. All right. No overload protection also. What to expect. So, another third on video of a pretty cheap device and the engineering behind. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. Okay, frozen pot, cover it, turn it on. Let's check if this is going to be an ice cream. And uh, the ice cream stuff. Four egg yolks. 
quarter of liter of, of milk, quarter of liter of Schlagowas. <laughs> I don't know the English term. Schlagowas uh, and uh, Sahne in, in German, German and Schlagowas in Austrian, German. So quarter of liter and 90 grams sugar and a little bit. Four egg yolks, yeah. I've boil it, yeah. not too hot, 75 degree. Cool it down, and now this should be and some vanilla, and this should be vanilla ice. Mm. Yeah. Now I have to wait. Good. Okay, this is working. It's getting hot. <laughs>